guys and welcome back to my channel anti confusion so as promised i will not be able to create video on odbc because i was getting the error which i am unable to resolve till now so sorry for that and i will resolve that error and will surely upload that video but today we will learn about call conferencing so basically what is call conferencing call conferencing is like when more than two persons get connected to each other and have conversation among them so we can do this in our abstract by making use of one function that is conf bridge and for that we have to configure conf bridge dot con file that is placed inside abstract so let's edit it first as you can see there is no content in this file so i deleted all the content because it was basically the documentation of this file so if you want to read the documentation then you can read this in particular this file or you can move to this this link here in you can see every uh, parameter and explain it here so let's create the conflict file so general is the mandatory thing and the other context would be admin user and one would be default user and the last would be default bridge now we have to configure each of them so in admin user we have to create the admin variables and assign them so that is type equals to user and pin should be any pin you can set it this pin will be used when you will dial the extension for conference call then it will ask for the pin so we have to enter this pin there marked equals to yes this is the admin and if you want any music on hold and if you want that your conference should announce the number of users which are connected in it so announce user count equals to yes so these particular things should be copied inside this user also and we have to edit it type equals to user would be same and pin would be same it depends on you whether you want to change this pin or not and mark equals to yes and all users this should not be here now okay so this much and in this default bridge we have to we have to set it its type as we need a platform wherein all the users get connected so type equals to bridge and maximum members how many members you want to get connected in this particular bridge so i wrote 10 you can write 3 4 or any number of users you want now let's save it and move to our extensions to one file and in this extensions dot con file let's create a new extension let's take triple seven
this could be number for conference of user and same conference of admin and admin would be the person who will start this conference and that number would be the other than this user conference so same. conference basically takes three arguments and those are so let's edit first would be default bridge and the other would be default user or default admin this is the user one, so we will write default user and let's copy this line paste here and add it to default admin now let's check that whether this will work or not so do we have to remember that this would be the main that will create the conference room and other people who want to join this conference room can join by dialing triple seven. So let's save this file and then move to our asterisk console and do dial and reload. And now let's dial triple eight. That would be our admin. Okay, our, this CPR is not right now connected. So, okay, now it is connected. Let's dial triple it. Default admin does not exist. Okay, D F A U L D. Default admin does not exist. Okay, so let's correct it. Firstly, see what we have written there. Inside our conference, default user, default admin user. Okay. We have to write context name as admin user and I have written default user. That is why it was giving error. Admin user. Now let's check. I think we have to reload our asterisk. Number. Okay, we have to reload our extra as we have configured conference.com. Now, as you heard that it was it asked for pin that number. That pin is invalid for this conference. Please enter the conference pin number. Okay. That pin is invalid for this conference. Please enter the conference PIN number.
That pin is invalid for this conference. Triple eight conference admin and for this admin we have pin as one two three four and why it is not taking Numbers. You are currently the only person in this conference. Okay, now it is connected. And you can see as we have set it music on hold. So now it is playing the music on hold until the other user will not get connected. Now let's connect our other user also. The other number was triple seven. The other number was triple seven for the users to join. Now let's time this also. As you heard, my son. Hello. Hello, hello. As you can see, both these peers are connected. Okay, so our set peer is successfully connected, and this is the conference calling. And yes, we can record this call. And for that, we have to enable recording. We have to simply write down record equals to yes in our conference.conf file. And we can do many more things. And here are the things which we can do with this conf bridge function. Now, let's see what are the options which we can do here. As you can see, maximum members. So it can allow up to 50 members in the conference and record conferences yes or no as I already told you and recorded file will be stored basically it will be stored inside by this pool monitor and inside that folder you will get the recording if you will enable this record conference equals to yes and mixing interval will mix the audio of all the conferences and uh, these are the few more options which we can do okay first of all let me close the trigger it might be creating disturbance And you can see we have used admin and we used music on hold when empty and these are some more options which we can use in our dial plan for conference call. So guys thank you for watching and the next video video would be surely on ODBC so hope that error would get resolved as soon as possible. And please guys subscribe to my channel Anti-Confusion. Thank you guys.